guys, I hope your week is going well. So it's already July and it's time for my skincare empties. If you missed my video, I think last week, I shared with you guys all of the sunscreen that I finished up kind of throughout spring in the past three months. So check that video out. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you all of the non-sunscreen skincare that I used up uh, during the spring. So this, this is everything that I've used kind of in the past three months. But disclaimer, as with the sunscreen video, while I use these things up and you know hit bottom or whatever in the past three months, uh, many of them I opened up and started using and you know used for a period of time and then paused and then came back to in the months in the months before. So it's not as though I opened everything up, started everything new, and finished it up in three months, just to give you some sense of reality. But I do finish things up and so I want to share them with you. Okay, first of all um, is a hand soap that I used up. It's the seventh generation free and clear fragrance free hand soap. I really like this. I, um, you can get it at Target, you can get it on iHerb, um, and it's really gentle, not drying, and obviously no fragrance, which is what I like. I wash my hands a fair amount. I keep this, this one was in my bathroom, and I finished it up. So there's that. The other one that I like using, and I currently have in there, is the Attitude Fragrance-Free Hand Soap. That's foaming. This one is not foaming, but they're both very good. So I finished that up. And I also finished up uh, quite a few cleansers. Like I said, not all of these were started in the past three months, but I finished them up in the past three months. First one that was new to me and I really enjoyed, I reviewed for you guys, is the Hamish All Clean Green Foam PH 5.5. This was really a wonderful gel consistency cleanser that felt almost like a nice cushion on, your, on the face. Fragrance free, you can get this on iHerb. I I really, I, I have to say, I was taken aback by this and I didn't think that it was gonna be anything, you know, magical. And it's not like it's, you know, magical, it's not a flying carpet, but uh, it is a good value and I do really recommend this. I've reviewed in the past their All Clean Balm, their cleansing balm, that does have fragrance in it, unfortunately, but this doesn't. And I think this does a really nice job removing um, water resistant sunscreen and mascara, which is why I wash my face, basically. All right, um, and then the other cleanser that I finished up that I wasn't too happy about at all and do not recommend and would definitely not repurchase is this Benton Honest Cleansing Foam. I have yet to be blown out of the water by any Benton product. I know I'm, I know I'm gonna, there are a lot of fans out there of Benton skincare, but I have yet to find anything that I really think is executed that well in terms of formulation. I've tried a lot of the products, not all of them that I've tried I've quite yet shared with you guys, so stay tuned for that. But this is terrible. It has a horrible fragrance that's like dish soap. I really did not care for this whatsoever. Stings around the eyes, just not, not good. So don't get that. I would not repurchase, but I did finish it up. And then also in the category of cleansers, I finished the um, Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser from Crave Beauty. This is fantastic. Speaking of something that feels like a nice cushion on your face as far as a cleanser, this does. This actually feels kind of like you're getting some sort of luxurious uh, spa treatment when you put it on. It's like a nice soothing, almost like a chia pudding on your face. It has a slippery consistency that's very conditioning to the skin. All right, but moving along kind of in the cleanser realm of things, you know I like to do a oil cleanse to remove dirt oil, mascara, sunscreen, and begin breaking it up using the principle of like dissolves like before coming on with a gentle cleanser uh, to wash all of that off. And I like using really basic no-nonsense things like mineral oil from the drugstore is great. Um, and so, you know, there are a lot of great cleansing oils and cleansing balms that have a little bit of an emulsifier in them, so they generate a little bit of lather. One of my favorites, as you guys know, is the Hadalabo cleansing oil. That's what I am currently using right now, and I really like it a lot. But another good Japanese cleansing oil is the Crazy Naive um, cleansing oil. This is fantastic. It's, you know, honestly, I don't appreciate 
here and there. I don't appreciate any difference between this and the Hot Lava one. They're both Hot Lava one. They're both fragrance free and work really well. I think this is a little, maybe a little more affordable. Um, I got it on Yes Style and uh, I, I was really happy with it. So I thought that was good and you know like Yes Style sometimes will have kind of a site-wide sale on a particular number of brands. So I would say I would definitely go back to Crazy over Hotelabo if Crazy were the featured discounted brand when I was in need of a cleansing oil. But you know that's kind of my personality. I don't I don't play favorites with skincare products or have like strong loyalties or emotional ties to things. Um, I, I go with you know what's cost effective and, and pretty pretty straightforward. So that would be my approach. They're both great. Um, and you know I'm kind of pulling hairs to come up with differences between the two. Um, but if you like a balm, a cleansing balm, which is just a solid you know some solid state, I cannot recommend enough uh, the Carolyn Hirons Pixie Double Cleanse. This is fantastic. Um, you get a solid cleansing balm on one side, and then on the other side you get a nice cream cleanser. So you have your your double cleanse products all in one container. The container that being that being said, as somebody who likes to do the second cleanse, my my second step in the shower, the container is a little difficult for me to make work with my routine because when you open it up, both both products are exposed so that would be my one kind of issue with this is just the containers a little challenging for me but it works really well fragrance free no nonsense and it's pretty affordable you can get it at target iherb uh, so i i definitely recommend it and it's cruelty free as well i've been using the i finished up the iris store anti-hair loss shampoo this is a great shampoo for people who have hair like long hair or hair that's prone to breakage it's very gentle not drying um, whatsoever and it's also not heavy so it doesn't weigh down the hair or make it look greasy I really enjoyed it they have a corresponding conditioner that I've been using um, and I really like it I just put a little bit on the ends of my hair in the shower a couple of nights a week as far as the conditioner and so that's about how frequently I'm using a conditioner and I'm not quite finished with that but I shampoo my hair nightly and I made it through this and I really liked it and it, it, it does have fragrance like pretty much all shampoos do the fragrance I, I actually really like it actually has a grapefruity sort of not grapefruity it kind of smells like um, like uh, yeah a little grapefruity citrusy it's really nice and then the other shampoo that I finished was the BioTerra Ultra Moisturizing Replenishing Shampoo. I should repurchase this. I really liked it a lot, and I'm you know kind of running running low on shampoo currently uh, with marula oil. This smells really nice. That's all I'll say. It didn't dry out my hair. It didn't make my hair greasy. It really made my hair nice and shiny and bouncy. So I really liked that a lot, and uh, it's pretty affordable for a you know bougie shampoo. <laughs> um, so I I enjoyed that. I use a lot of moisturizers on my face, namely because I review a lot of them and I review a lot of moisturizing products for you guys. And so whenever I you know, start dipping into something and using it, I want to use it up just to move on. So that's why there are so many, but no, this is not a reflection of reality of what like is actually necessary. Um, these are just some products that I reviewed for you guys and finished up. One of them is a Great Barrier Relief. This is from Crave Beauty. It's in their supplemental series. And I really enjoyed this. It has ceramides in it. It's a nice lightweight, honestly, moisturizer, although I think it's marketed as a serum. Um, and this was not irritating whatsoever. I, I enjoyed it and I finished it up. Uh, you know, I I like this one. I hear she's coming out with a more of a dedicated moisturizer though, it for the core series. So I look forward to seeing that, but this was nice. Um, more on the emollient side of things, less less on the occlusive, you know, seal and trans epidermal water loss side of things in terms of a moisturizer, but with some nice ingredients and it was not irritating. Oh, a product that I have really loved um, and really enjoyed and finished up too is the Procure Rosacare. Uh, this is fantastic. This hydrogel for uh, formulated specifically for people with rosacea, but you don't have to have rosacea to use it. It's great if you have redness related to acne, if you have sensitive skin. It's got licorice root extract in it, which is anti-inflammatory. It has chromium in it for color correction. 
Um, and so it's nice and kind of camouflaging redness. I think it's very soothing. And if you're somebody who just does not like the feel of heavy moisturizers on your face, you're like really moisturizer phobic, like you're, you're still really apprehensive that it's going to clog your pores, try this. It's a nice hydrogel vehicle that is good by itself. Like it's, it's sufficiently occlusive that it's not going to just evaporate off of your face. The water that it, it puts on your, into your skin is not just going to evaporate. So it's fine on its own. Um, and, and I think you'll enjoy it. And you know, you can get it at Walmart, on walmart.com, CVS, Amazon, and many of you have started using it and like it. I love it. And I just got another one. Um, so yeah, finished up two of those. I actually put this underneath the La Roche-Posay Sycophas Balm. Uh, I'm really enjoying that. So that's kind of what I've been doing lately. Um, all right, and then uh, let's see here. I also finished up the Juju Aqua Moist Hyaluronic Acid. I love this and have repurchased it. Um, I just haven't started it. I just haven't opened my newer container of it because uh, I have some other things that I am currently using. But this was fantastic. Vegan uh, Hyaluronic Acid Gel Cream that in my opinion is better than the Trader Joe's um, Hyaluronic Acid product. And this is a, almost a little, not, well, I would say it's on par with the Hot Labo Skin Plumping Gel Cream. It's really good just for packing a punch of hydration. You do need to use this underneath a moisturizer though. Don't just use it by itself. It needs to go on wet skin and then you have to put a moisturizer on over, knee, over top like I've, like I've talked about in, in other videos. And see, I was trying to go in order and I missed a cleanser. Anyways, <laughs> um, so... Uh, another facial cleanser that I finished up. I've been, I've had this ongoing for a long time. So uh, I think I finished this up within the first few weeks of this three month, three month uh, bolus that I'm talking about. Uh, this is the Hot Labo Tokyo Gentle Hydrating Cleanser with Hyaluronic Acid. This is fine. It doesn't stand out to me as like magical, but it's nice. It uh, you know has hyaluronic acid in it, which is helpful for you know kind of holding on to some hydration as you cleanse um, on the skin. It does have methyl isothiazinolone in it, so if you're allergic to that, you want to avoid it. You can actually get the Hot Labo, many of the Hot Labo Tokyo products at Sally Beauty. Um, FYI, including the skin plumping gel cream. So look there for this if you're interested. I think they sell a gift set. I know they sell the gift set on Target at Target as well. Um, so I, I enjoyed this, and you know it's a nice cleanser, but not magical. All right, let's go back to some other moisturizers that I finished up. Oh, um, speaking of hyaluronic acid, I also finished up this little one ounce uh, tube of the Indeed Labs Hydroluron Hyaluronic Acid. This is great. Um, this is a Canadian brand and I really enjoyed it. Um, it. You know, I reviewed it, I think in my, I can't remember which video it was. Um, maybe my under eye video. Yeah, my under eye, um, under eye video. Uh, this is really good for improving the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines, similar to the Juju Aqua Moist and the Hot Labo Skin Plumping Gel Cream Hyaluronic Acid products. Rather enjoyed that. Nice at, nice at giving hydration to the skin. But moving along in the realm of skin hydrators, I finished up the Color Science Pep Up Collagen Renewal Face and Neck Treatment. This is the uh, Color Science uh, peptide uh, moisturizer and this I actually really was impressed with the level of hydration it brought to my skin it's incredibly expensive though so you know if it's not your budget I don't think you know you have to feel FOMO I think you can achieve similar hydration with the Indeed Lab for example or the Juju Aqua Moist or Hot Lava Skin Plumping Gel Cream I think you can get very similar hydration in the skin the nice thing with the peptides though is there is actually more compelling evidence that they can kind of help in terms of guiding some skin barrier restoration and boosting of collagen production. They're costly ingredients, which I think is why you're seeing this price point here. So there's, there's that, but I really enjoyed it and I thought it, it was good. Um, okay, another uh, skin hydrator that I finished up that, this is one, if, you know, if you're on a budget in particular that anybody should get. I mean, it's really good, in my opinion. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream Fragrance Free. You always have to look for that little fine print, Fragrance Free. Neutrogena, the Hydro Boost products, they put that awful, they put fragrance in a lot of things. 
Um, so look for the fragrance free one, but you can put this on your face, on your body. This is great. I love this product and I would definitely repurchase it. Uh, in fact, I had to keep myself from rebuying it the other day um, when I was in Walgreens because I, like, I don't need another body moisturizer right now. I have several that are ongoing, uh, but I love this and would totally repurchase it. I also finished the CeraVe Skin Renewing Gel Oil. I rather enjoyed using this in the winter and then into, into spring and finished it up. It is, uh, it's got ceramides in it, of course, as do all CeraVe, Cera, CeraVe products. And this is really nice uh, just for little target dry patches, uh, for brightening up uh, the face, for brightening up the skin. If you put it on your cheeks, under your eyes, um, it really imparts a nice luminosity to the skin. It's very hydrating, very moisturizing, and it's good for sealing and transepidermal water loss. If you have hyper irritable skin or irritated skin, this is nice for soothing that. Um, I really recommend it. A little bit goes a long way. You don't need a lot of it. It lasts a long time. So it is a, it's a pretty you know, good product from the drugstore that I, I definitely recommend. Okay, I fell in love with the Dear Clary's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. This is a peptide containing moisturizer that does not have fragrance and essential oils. I have to say that, uh, I'll say that again, uh, because I, I mentioned it in another video, but there's, I think it's Soko Glam and Amazon has an ingredient list for this product and on their ingredient list, they say it has lavender oil in it, but it doesn't. I contacted the company and they're like, no, it does not have lavender oil in it. The ingredients on the box are what you get and there's, there's no lavender oil, no essential oils. This is really nice. In addition to having peptides, it also has Centella Asiatica in it, uh, which has been shown to uh, be promising as an ingredient for wound healing and uh, it's what's in the La Roche Posay Cicaplast Balm. I I really like this, and I definitely repurchase this one. It is it's a it's a K Beauty favorite of mine. All right, and then some minis that I finished up, even though they're not in order. I finished the Paula's Choice Defense Hydrating Gel to Cream Cleanser. I wasn't like blown out of the water by this. The Nightly Reconditioning Moisturizer, and I also, I actually I didn't finish up, uh, but I'll just hold it up here because I have it here. I got bored with, <laughs> that's not fair to include it here. I got bored with the Antioxidant Pore Purifier. Um, I reviewed these for you guys, but uh, they are they are donezo. All right, and then lastly, I've got some mascara empties here. I finished the uh, Maybelline Colossal. Love this mascara. Always, always, does does well by me and uh, strongly recommend it. I get it in uh, glam black, is it? Uh, there's like glam black and classic black. Okay, this is classic black. Uh, I get, get it in classic black. I really like it. And then I also finished up and do not recommend the Neutrogena Hydra Boost uh, Plumping Mascara with Hyaluronic Acid. This was goopy and uh, it's just, was not comfortable to wear and smudged quite a bit. So I don't recommend that. But I finished up the Glossier Lash Slick and I loved this. This one was very surprising to me how much I liked it. Um, it, to me, is very competitive with the Maybelline Colossal. I really like that. It, it has a nicer lengthening, you know, the lengthening that it, the lash lengthening on this, I think it's a little better than Colossal. Colossal is a little better than this as far as thickening the lashes and extending them, but this one's a little better as far as lengthening and lifting. So they're they're subtly different, and this one is competitive with the Maybelline Colossal for my attention. Um, so I, yeah, I've always been loyal to the Maybelline Colossal. So far, it's one of the best mascaras that I've tried, and I've tried many, um, but Glossier is, is winning me over as well. So yeah, that's everything non-sunscreen that I finished up. Again, don't forget to watch my sunscreen empties video. Uh, to me, those are the most important empties. But uh, if you're interested in, in sunscreens that I finished up and about how many I went through. But I hope you guys enjoyed this empties video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.